All right, folks, uh, we're on a piece of public land right now, Easton and I are, and uh, we're gonna hang a set specifically for opening weekend. So this piece butts up against the cornfield, which was standing until this week. Um, they just took the corn off. So that might change our tactics a little bit, um, but we're gonna head back there and just see if we can find some fresh sign, whether that's scrapes, even a beat down trail heading to the corn. Um, and I think we're gonna hunt here opening morning. We don't necessarily like to hunt in the morning during early season, but you gotta hunt the opening morning of deer season. You just have to. So we're gonna plan on coming here and who knows, maybe pluck a doe. It is public land, so we're not gonna be too picky. Um, we do have a pretty nice target buck that we're after though, so probably not gonna shoot a buck here unless he's really, really nice. So we're gonna haul these stands back here, try to find a spot and bring you guys along with us. So we just made it back on this piece of public. We're really not super far, we're probably a half mile back in, but we had a camera here earlier in the summer and had some really good bucks on it. The, the area we're standing right now is probably 70 yards from the cut cornfield and there's a rub line here, like you wouldn't believe. I mean, I'm counting six rubs just within a 15 yard radius. So there's a nice thick swampy, I assume bedding area to my east here. Um, we're gonna check that out right now. I'm on hunt stand and we're gonna try to figure out a good a good spot to, to hang a set I haven't seen any oak trees yet, but I'm sure there's some um, So we're just gonna keep looking for sign and kind of pick this apart a little bit while remaining relatively relatively quiet So I'm gonna lay this down right now. We got our stand and uh, climbing sticks We're gonna lay that down just kind of explore within the area and then go from there so All right, Nick and I split up. Uh, we just decided to divide and conquer to get a better lay of this area. So, he is walking into that bedding area. He's telling me there's a bunch of rubs over there, but yeah, so he pushed into that bedding area just a little bit. I went out towards this cornfield and there's just a multitude of different types of acorns scattered everywhere through here along with rubs and beds and stuff so looks like a really really good spot to be and I think even if we just swack a doe on opening morning it's going to be a good spot so I'm excited for next weekend you can see right there there's like hieroglyphics that they must have wrote <laughs> the deer yeah all right this oak tree behind me we think is going to set up for a good stand um, this is east, north, I only know that because we just checked, I'm terrible with directions, but we have a easterly, northeasterly wind, southeasterly wind, right? Is that right? Out of the north. Out of the north? Yeah. Blowing. Northeast. South. Yeah. So it sets up perfect because they're definitely bedding behind us here. I, have, I haven't seen this much sign in forever and this is public land, I mean the amount of acorns is unreal. Buck tracks, doe tracks, rubs, absolutely everywhere. What we think they're doing is this is, a, like I mentioned, a fresh cut cornfield. I think they're feeding there and just, you know, milling on these acorns late morning and, you know, early evening as they're heading out to the ag field. So I think this is going to be a dynamite spot. I'm like really excited now. So we're going to throw this stand up quick. Um, actually, it sounds like the farmer's out there right now, maybe taking off the rest of the corn. So pop up this tree probably 15 20 feet and we'll be in here in a week so I'm excited let's go grab the stuff all right we're gonna go ahead and get out of here now it's, I don't even know what time it is probably 10 o'clock 11 o'clock maybe um, got the stand hung it's pretty cool the tree that we put it in is a younger oak tree there's a peg probably 20 feet up where we hung our stands it's somebody's old bow hanger it looks like so at some point somebody else found this spot and thought it was was a good place to hunt too so we're pretty excited you might be able to hear it's like raining acorns back in here there's oaks everywhere um and we're super stoked to hunt it so i i really can't believe the amount of sign that we saw 
I haven't I haven't hunted over that much deer sign in a while, so I'm gonna go ahead and slip out of here back to the truck, and uh, we got a few more spots to get to today.